the smell in of this area it's very distinct don't you think yeah that's the, uh, the smell of uh, manure from the ranch uh, how, how can you smell I guess because you are technically a Pokemon but like your nose isn't like snick sticking out of the poke uh, pokedex is it uh, whatever welcome back to let's play guys hello if you clear Kiawe's trial you can ride on the back of real Charizard. That sounds like fun. You can actually fly through the sky. That sounds really fun. Mm, hello. Hello, Magmar. Whoa. Hello. Can I not talk to you? Magmar knows when to use Ember, a flamethrower, or a fire blast to get the you know, strength of the fire just right. It's super helpful when I'm cooking. Don't burn your house down or anything, man. Or restaurant. I guess this is a restaurant. Is it a restaurant? No, I guess it's just a big house. And that's just her kitchen. I don't know. The counter made it look like it was a restaurant. I don't know. Whatever. Just don't don't burn the building down. Hello. Can I talk to you? No? Alright. That's boring. Hello. Oh, look at that Merker of yours. It weighs less than 110 pounds. And then it shouldn't take much damage, even if it's hit with a move like Grass Knot. It's great how you can check the weight of your Pokemon and info like that in your Pokedex. Yeah, I guess. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, Alright. Yo, yo, Vulpix. Hey, give me that bottle cap. Please stop. Yeah, seriously. Except drop the please. Yeah, what you looking at? Uh, what's this a Pokemon need a nice bottle cap for? I'm just going to put it to better use, that's all. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm definitely going to deal with this. You want a piece of me? I'll show you what happens when you mess with Team Skull. So I guess you're not one of the ones I've dealt with before. Ugh. Gross. Man, that, was a, that was a big sound glitch. And stutters and everything. Alright, what single Pokemon do you have? A uh, Ratatatata. Neat. That's definitely something that I'm gonna, gonna worry about. I definitely haven't beaten a bunch of these things that were at about the same level already elsewhere in the game. Oh, uh, look at that. Yeah. Can you, um... Can you can you get the heck out of here now, please? Ooh. Ooh. I know I've gotten some mileage out of Ember being a special move where my other move was physical, but Flame Wheel sounds like a better move for Growlithe. You got a piece of me, and I guess I uh, shouldn't have messed with you. Yeah? You wanna, you wanna go now, please? It's all your fault just because you wouldn't hand over that bottle cap. Go get your own bottle cap. Go fish for one. It's not that hard, man. Yeah, I like how the game just puts me between him and the Vulpix, which is definitely what Hero would have done. Yo, you got lucky, Vulpix. Don't count on people to help you next time. Oh, thank goodness. Everything's going to be alright now. Yeah. You okay, Vulpix? Yeah, I guess it's okay, because it's running off. Yo, oh dear, what's wrong? Uh, is something wrong? I thought it was just getting back to its life. Should I follow it? You didn't make this old lady happy if you did come back tomorrow, too. Um, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do that, lady. I don't, I maybe, maybe I will. If I remember. I don't, I don't know if I'll remember to do that. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing. I can't walk up there. That's stupid. Um, I didn't even know that was a thing, so that was fun. That was a, that was that was a new thing. There's apparently nothing else to do around here either, except head up to the ranch. I guess I can go this way. Nope, nope. There's nothing that way. Okay, just head up to the ranch then, or toward the ranch. Is this actually the ranch? This is the ranch. Okay. And there's a trainer. Are you a trainer? Yeah, everybody who works on the ranch loves a good Pokemon battle. So you don't work on the ranch then, since you're not challenging me to a Pokemon battle? Good, no. 
Hey, uh, old lady. Eat well, sleep well, and then it's time for a proper battle. I'm gonna give all the ranch workers, because everybody wants to battle me here as a ranch worker. I got, I'm just gonna give them all southern accents. Madam Elizabeth. Sounds more like she'd have a British accent, but you know, whatever. Um, not a great matchup for murder. In fact, that's like the absolute worst matchup for murder. And murder is feeling sleepy anyway, so let's, um, let's just go to Diana and use some super effective grass moves on this thing, shall we? I don't use Diana enough anyway. Okay. It sharpened itself. That just doesn't seem like a waste of a turn at all. Oh look, it actually was. Bye. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Cool. I've had... <clears throat> what voice did I give her? Southern accent. I've had enough. I can't fight anymore. There we go. See how long it takes me to get bored of the southern accent. Hey, look. Um, looks like they're, they're going to be making a new Taurus or Miltank soon, those two. Seem to like each other a lot. Oh, you've got to be a trial goer, right? Well, you've got a good sense of timing. The captain's actually here now, so come on. Alright, sure. Southern accent is the only accent I can do, by the way. Literally the only one. Except for, like, hoity-toity posh or something like that, you know. It's not really an accent. Yes. Hey, thanks for stopping by. And the Moomoo Milk from Penula Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy, and when you use it in a white sauce and other things, mm, the taste can't even be described. Mm. Sorry, I, I got distracted. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. And psychic me over a ride pager item, I guess. Uh, see, Stoutling can sniff out items uh, for you that are buried in the dirt, uh, where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutland, pressing B to use the Stoutland search is what it's all about. Uh, get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff laying around waiting for you to find it. And Stoutland will bark louder and louder the closer you get to uh, some item buried in the ground. If you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come out on Brickwood Hill. My friend Lana is up there, and so say hi to her for me if you see her. Okay. I'm gonna assume she's one of the other trial captains. Um, I don't, I don't really care about the item finder part of Statland. I just Statland's a cool Pokemon, so I'm, I might go riding around on Statland a little bit in a second. Want to explore this area a little bit more? Hey, there's a there's a rock ruff. Hi, rock ruff. Alright, let's get back out of here. Um, I guess I gotta go this way? This area always kind of confused me, honestly. Hey, a mill tank. I don't, I don't, I don't care about mill tank very much. I am looking for a Pokemon here, it's just, it's just not this one. Alright, let's, let's actually see if we can find it real quick, and then I'll move on uh, from there. There it is. The Pokemon I was looking for. Right, I'm going to stop doing the southern accent now. I'm sure you guys are as annoyed of it as I am. Uh, but this is going to be my Mudbray. This is going to be my next Pokemon on my team. Get it. Yeah, that did more damage than I expected. Uh, but it's got stamina, which is a great ability. Shh, trying to use Rototiller. Dear God. Just that's just... A stupid move. <laughs> uh, and the AI is so dumb for trying to use it. Alright, come on. Come on. Yeah. Get it. Beautiful. Very good. Yep, everybody gets some experience. And, um, 
I've mentioned this Pokemon before, because I caught a Mudbray in a raid back in the Sword playthrough, and I mentioned that I had a Mudbray in uh, in Moon version. So, um, and this, this is going to be this is going to be the 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 new version of that Pokemon. Uh, possessing mighty power, Mudbray can be loaded with 50 times its own body weight and will be totally fine. And this is going to be my good friend Gallop, which if I'd caught a female one back when I was playing through the first time, uh, fun fact, I would have named it Sia because she's got stamina. It's another reference that's absolutely stupid. Um, and there's a guy. Do I want to battle him right at, right away? Um, yeah, I guess. I don't think I need to battle him. I don't think he's actually on the path, but, you know. Doesn't hurt, right? Yeah, Breeder Glen. Yeah. What you got? A Mudbray. I just got one of those. Um, and I know I could do quite a bit of damage to him. So this, sh this shouldn't be much of an issue. Um, stamina is great, though. It raises defense one stage every time you're hit with a... I think it's any move. It might just be moves that do physical damage, but I think it's any move. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, okay, I guess it's just moves that do physical damage. Maybe just moves that do... They make contact? I don't know. But it's a good move, um, because... Or a good ability, because, um... Mudbray and its evolution are... Bulky anyway, and you can make them more bulky with the right training, right? And, um, use them as pretty effective physical walls that can actually deal a decent amount of damage, too. They make really good tanks. Really good physical tanks. Alright, let's see. Is that a way I can go up there? Looks like it is. Let's go that way. Eh. Actually, I think this is the way I'm supposed to go. Now that I think about it, I'm trying to remember, because I saw, uh... Uh, pseudo widow down there. I think the pseudo widow blocks the south path until after you fight Lana's trial, maybe. So I guess we're doing Lana's trial today. Who would have guessed, right? Get it. Boom. Okay, I guess the other one just didn't have stamina. Uh, stamina is definitely its more common ability. So I just kind of assumed that one would have stamina, but I guess it didn't. Because stamina does go off when Nightshade hits, so it's when any move hits. So, like, you could even use it to tank a couple hits from somebody who doesn't do physical damage while you're finishing them off. And then wall whichever physical attacker comes out next. Like, you'd have to have an idea of what Pokemon your opponent's going to use next. No, I don't care about the nursery. Um, you'd have to have some idea of which Pokemon your opponent is going to use next for something like that to work, but it's still possible, right? Let's, let's get on Statland for a second. Because that seems like a conspicuous spot, right? Ah, I can't get in there with that one? Okay. Look at him, look at him. Does that mean there's one, like, right here? Or that I'm, like, just walking towards one right now? Hey! Okay, cool. Again, probably not going to worry about that much, but ah, god dang it. Uh, but I want to I want to give Statlin a little bit of time in the spotlight. It's a pretty cool Pokemon. Not a great matchup for Murder. Probably going to run away from this one. Ugh. Yeah, I'm just going to run away from this one. Ugh. Alright, and he runs pretty fast. He runs faster than Taros. He just can't boost like Taros. So, yeah, again. Fight me. Alright, trial goer, have a look at my kid. Your kid? What? If a, if a human... I was gonna say, if a human comes out of that Pokeball, I'm gonna be very disturbed. Thankfully, one didn't. Um, let's do an automatic 22 points of damage. Boom. It also has Nightshade. 
Yay. Alright, this should do it. Get it. Get it, murder. I really do need to switch and use somebody else first, though. That wasn't a joke. I really do need to start using somebody else more. <laughs> really like murder, don't get me wrong, but um, I need to start showing off some other team members. And you're growing rapidly, that's wonderful. You talking about me or your Pokemon? You're 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 a weird person. I'm just I'm just gonna go. And you'll find Brookwood Hill at the end of Route Five. That's where uh, Captain Lana does her trial. Look alive, Rotom. I assume this is Route Five then. Hey, I assumed correctly. Hello. I'm one of the trial guides. Is here to help. Out young tri I'm gonna stop with the southern next to the dead. It's here to help out young trial goers on their island challenge. Now, I feel like learning a mysterious move, maybe? Its effects changed based on where you use it. I don't I don't care about that. Oh, god dang it. Just trying to get around behind them so I'd be in a secure place when I use Roto Lotto. Whatever, I'll I'll beat up a couple of children first, that's fine. Twins, Isa and Nico. Interesting names. Cottony and Petalil. All right. I don't see that as being an issue, since both of my guys have super effective moves against Grass. Um. Yeah. And what subtype is Petalil? Have I just not battled one before? And that's why it's not showing as super effective? I don't know, that's weird. That's, that's, that's a good level up for Bug Zap, for sure. Yeah, hurry up, come on. Get it. I guess I just never fought one, because it was super effective. Alright, sure. And... Yep, too young for math. Loss and loss, make a double loss. I mean, I guess. And... Look, Bug Zap is evolving. Yeah, do it. Congratulations, your Bug Zap evolved into a small green bus. Yep, and he's gonna try to learn charge, I think. I think he learns that evolution. And I, I just don't give a shit about charge at all. Uh, but let's 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 read about him. Its stout shell provides excellent defense from attacks. It uses electricity on persistent opponents, and it's a bug electric, which is good. Yeah, he's gonna learn charge. He's gonna try to anyway, and again I don't care about charge. Uh, I'm not really worried about doing huge amounts of damage with this guy. I'm more concerned with having a diversity of moves. Hey, thanks. He congratulated me on my Pokemon evolving. I'm good for now. Yeah. Yeah, I, thanks. Can I can I just do the thing now, please? Um, I'm more worried about him having a diversity of moves. Because he can tank hits pretty good, and that way I can hit with super effective damage against whoever I'm tanking moves from, right? Uh, it's amazing power, yeah. Red OPP restores again, which is solid. Yeah. And grab this. There's another cowgirl over there. I don't know what her actual trainer class is. There's a thing. I want that thing. Yeah. Uh, get it. What is it? Torment. Yeah, I don't actually care. All right. Hmm. All right. Where's that cowgirl? Hey, cowgirl. And one of the duties of a breeder is to discover and refine the strength of Pokemon. She still gets the southern accent because she's a cowgirl, right? Yuka, which is definitely a, a cowgirl name. Actually, I, I don't know. Maybe there's there's probably at least one cowgirl named Yuka, right? All right, a mushroom versus a bird. I think I've got this. Get it. And then I'm definitely going to switch murder for somebody else for a little while. 
Ah, stinking effect spore. God damn it. Alright. I mean, I meant to switch their order out of battle. So somebody else was leading, but I guess I'll switch now, too. Yeah, just so I don't take any more poison damage. Diana can handle a Lediba pretty easily, I think. I don't use Diana enough, anyway. I think I said that last episode, too. Alright. Eh, get it. Yeah. Beautiful. Diana is quite a beast. Hey, Gallop leveled, which is always nice. Now I want to know what my strengths are. I mean, you should be able to work that out, I think. Should It shouldn't really be an issue. Alright, um... Hmm, who should I move to the top of my party? Let's, um... Let's see. Maybe Doggo for a little while? Alright, yeah. That's, that's, that's the wrong button. Alright, dear god. Um, maybe Doggo for a while, use him a little bit. Either him or Bug Zap, probably, but, I mean, I haven't used Doggo as much as Bug Zap. Um, save real quick now that I did that too. And oh look what's up there in the corner there. Hey, it's you two clowns again. And doing squats really uses all your muscles. My legs are shaking so hard I can't move. I'm not uh, doing low and sumo. I'm not, I'm definitely not trying to be like Kunahala. Okay. You guys suck. I'm going to leave you, leave you to your own devices. Where am I supposed to go then? Oh, okay, I remember. I go this way this time. Oh look, it's Howl, and he got he met up with uh, the Edge Lord character of the game. Are you even taking this seriously? I am ser so seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it. You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, uh, which you clearly haven't. Uh, he's got your number, man. Whoa, hey, hero. This guy is plenty scary. Your hero. Who? Hmm, so you have enough sense to be wary. Not bad. I'm Gladion. Me and my partner, Type Null. What kind of name is a type no hero thought back then, but now he knows better, since this is still a flashback, right? Our uh, training to get stronger. Uh, we have gotten stronger. Uh, though most of our time these days uh, goes uh, to working for Team Skull as their muscle. I mean, I guess they needed some from somewhere. <laughs> Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. I wouldn't have said no anyway. I, um kind of feel like I should smack some humbleness into you. Humility. Humility is the word I was looking for. Smack some humility into you. Alright. A Zubat. A Zubat versus my Rock Ruff shouldn't be much of a matchup at all. Because first of all, it's a Zubat. And second of all, it's weak to me. I've got Faint Attack, which is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, that... It's because it's not a Zubat. Of course it's not a Zubat. That's a little bit... Um, worse a matchup? Okay. I'll try. I'll try beating it. So that means he's got... Whatever the heck that type null thing he was talking about is. And then a Zubat also. So I know the rest of his team. Um... Yeah. Thanks for the help, Rotom. Oh, it's faint attack. So sand attack won't even matter, will it? Well, shoot. Shoot. 
Alright, Doggo can't beat it, unfortunately. I could do some more damage first, though, before I switch. Uh, shoot. He's actually not awful. Alright, let's try a different dog, then. Get him, pupper. That should help. Yeah, definitely cut the damage down. Use flame wheel, go! This thing's fast, man. Would Hero up to this point... E, yikes. Would Hero up to this point have run into our Zorua? Like, he's pretty learned. He knows about Pokemon. He's read about him and stuff. So he probably would have read about him before, right? I don't know if he ever would have actually encountered one before. Alright. Anybody else gonna level? No? Alright. Now the Zubat. Can Doggo beat a Zubat with only 7 HP? Maybe? I don't know. I doubt it. Just because I don't think... I don't even think I'll go first. Right, let's heal. Let's heal with a... Super Potion, I think, I guess. Try to battle this guy in earnest. Use Bite, because of course it did. Now that's what threw me off. When... when the Zubat seemed to use Faint Attack. I saw, you know, Dark-type move, and I thought, Bite, but it was Faint Attack. I even read Faint Attack. Point is, I'm an idiot. Oh, come on, man. That's stupid. You're stupid. Please die. And that just leaves the Pokemon that he mentioned. Type Null, whatever that is. Hero says in his flashback. Um, let's just go for broke. Ace against ace. Type null sounds like it would be a normal type from its name anyway, right? That's a weird looking Pokemon. Alright, sure. Razor Leaf. Because this is definitely a Pokemon that Hero would not have heard of before, right? It's, um... Relatively tough, okay. Didn't do a ton of damage, but it did about as much as my attack did, and I'm not doing a ton of damage back to it either, so... You know. For being four levels above it, that's, that's pretty impressive. Come on. Let's, let's get a crit, Diana. Come on. Nope, alright. Draw this out one more turn, fine. He's probably gonna use an item now, isn't he? Oh, nope. Slashy slash! And let that be a lesson to you. Don't annoy me. And and, and attack how, I guess, too. You, you probably shouldn't do that either. Um, no, I don't care about Odor Sleuth. <laughs> he looks so broken. How annoying. So dramatic, man. Take a chill pill, Sasuke. I love Nintendo Dog. It's such a good game. What a dramatic sound. Hmm. It's not like me to slip up like that. You didn't slip up. I was just better than you. I've got to keep fighting. Stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. Ah, uh, for what? That kid there, his Pokemon aren't weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy battling. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard because he can't beat the Kahuna. And because he can't beat Hollow when he's serious. Um, I'd wonder how he knows so much about Hal, but Hal literally runs around screaming that that's his goal in life to everybody, and it's also not that hard to figure him out in general, so it's not really that much of a mystery. Yeah, you know my gramps? Uh, wait, so you think I'm strong? Ah, uh, look at you, little Gladion, aren't you? Uh, just a real cool guy. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, they're such nerds. Yeah, I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? And no worries, we've got enough backbone to cover for you. And just give it up already. I like this, because they're trying to intimidate him and he's just not shaking at all. It's very good. Huh. You know you can't beat me. Yeah, you'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. Yeah, they're good Pokemon. We came all this way, and for what? For a big waste of our time, thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brookwood Hill. You never would have been able to do that. Let's get out of here. Uh, look, the Murkrow are crying. It's time. Uh, we should be flying. You guys are such... Geeks isn't even the right word, because geeks are cool. Uh, listen up good, Glideon. The boss doesn't like you. Or does like you, that's true. Uh, but you're just some hired help we keep around uh, for when we need you. You aren't part of Team Skull, not really. And uh, you never will be, got it? Uh, you better get it. He's so nonplussed by you, it's funny. And already Hero's starting to piece together that, uh... There's something different about this guy, and maybe, maybe he has something to do with the group that Lily saw that made her miss her meeting. He doesn't have enough information yet to piece together who Gladion is to her, but he can at least reason out that much. And thanks, Hero, and Rockruff, too. And you both gave it your all. Phew, looks like I've got to train up my team if I'm going to take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here, hero, take these with you, and we're gonna beat that or beat this island challenge. Is it revives? I still haven't used any of the other revives I've been gifted. Yeah. All right. See you around, man. What's over here? Grass. And more grass. Anything of interest over here? There's a there's a guy. Some berries. Ah, freaking. Dang it. Probably just gonna run from it. Crab Roller's an interesting Pokemon, but I don't really want to take time to battle one right now. And I don't particularly care about catching one either. So just just run away, little doggo. Ah, couldn't get away. Alright, doggo's gonna get knocked out, unfortunately. <sighs> Jerk. Punching a dog in the face. How dare you. I'm gonna run away from you impotently. Oh, right, right, I have to beat him to get the berries. Well, shoot. Rotom's trying to talk to me, too, about how scary Gladion was. Which is just hilarious, because he really wasn't. Alright, I'm going to fight this thing. I'm not going to make you guys watch, though. Actually, you guys haven't seen Bug Zap fight since it evolved, have you? Did you? Did, I, did you see him fight yet? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a short battle anyway. Either way. End it, please. Charger Bug's actually pretty strong. It hits pretty hard. Yep. Hey, Diana level. That's always nice. Alright, now I'll pick up the berries. Lumberry. Helpful, but not super helpful. I'd really like some healing berries. Come on, give me a healing berry. Rost berry. I'm getting a lot of stat healing berries, but I'd like a health healing berry. God dang it, come on. I think I have a couple left. It's just... The trial at Brookwood Hill, man, is rough. Uh, you, you really think he's scary? You've got nerves of steel, hero. Yeah, I guess. Um, I, the Brookwood Hill, like, it's 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 super easy in, in the regular games. Uh, but it's, it's very difficult. Very difficult in these. Um, I've got a okay team for the, the, for the, for the totem Pokemon battle. It's not great, because I've got a lot of guys that are weak to water. But, um, it's, it's. It'll, it'll probably be okay, but I'd like to put some berries on my guys. Um, I don't, I don't care. Yeah, thanks, man. I was just trying to 
get to this. Yeah. Um, anyway, I think that's probably going to be about it. Anyway, I think that's probably going to be about it for this episode, guys. I hope you're still enjoying the LP, because I definitely still am as well. We'll tackle Brooklyn Hill next time. In the meantime, though, this has been AJ22, and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks, I, I gather. Thank you.